Brain Century, you said. All right, we'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com. How are you, sir? Very good. Good, and you're with Brain Century. Greg Merrill, I'm the CEO of Brain Century. Tell us about and it. Tell us about it. What we've developed is a sensor that simply attaches to the back of the helmet, and the sensor detects when a player, when their head exceeds certain acceleration, and the, and the player needs to be assessed for a concussion. And what it's looking at technically is three things. We're measuring the direction of the hit, we're measuring the peak linear acceleration of the hit, and we're measuring the duration, or how long the acceleration is happening. And if all those three things line up such that we'd be worried that the player might be injured from a concussion, we turn on a light. The product's not a diagnostic product, but it is an indication that the player should be assessed for a concussion. Now, one of the challenges that you noted was that athletes have a tendency to be the tough guy. So one of the big problems, one of the reasons why we got into this business is that we know that less than 50% of football players at the high school or college level will admit that they're experiencing the symptoms of having a concussion. And if they don't acknowledge that they have those symptoms, it's impossible to know. Because they, they, we're so dependent on that self-reporting. But, but we, we, you know, athletes feel like they'll be taken out of the game. They don't want to get taken out of the game. They don't want to appear weak. There's a culture, and it's human nature not to acknowledge uh, the injury. In the sport of football. The sport of football. Also in the sport of hockey, in the sport of lacrosse. You know, it's, it is, it's human nature. But, it, yeah, football is, is obviously a big problem. What do you foresee? Everyone in the NFL hiring brain century for the helmets? The, era of dumb helmets that don't have any kind of sensing capability is coming to an end. We're now into the age where we can apply these sensors to helmets and we can figure out which players need to be assessed. So you have the smart helmet. You have the smart helmet. <laughs> and you know we're really more concerned about kids at the high school level and the uh, lower levels of football because the lower you go, the less medical supervision there is. So we're taking the hand, taking the the decision out of the player's hands and out of the coach's hands and put it back into medical people's hands. Tell us your name, coach. Mike Working. The concussion in football, uh, so in other words, we're, we're getting the high schools up to par with the pros in the sense of watching how, how dangerous a concussion is. I mean, there are now rules that if you, if you were hitting a hard in the last play that you have to come out automatically. Is that it? Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, interaction between coaches, medical people, people like myself that are former coaches that have had 40 years looking at this, uh, and it will change. We think this is part of the solution. It's part of the take it out of the hands of the people that are trying to be the tough guy and put it back into the hands of let's evaluate you, let's err on the side of making sure before we put you back in the game. Coach, sometimes it means the player might not play anymore, but at least they know that they're, they Absolutely. have a good idea about Absolutely. their well-being. We, we, we want them to live a long life. There's too many wonderful things that a kid can get from football. Let's, let's not let this stand in the way of it. So if a kid I, I, has, a, has a hit like that, let's make sure it's treated properly. So, so Coach, I'm putting you on the spot here for a public service announcement that life is not over just because you can't play football. Absolutely. There, there's more to life. Absolutely. You can coach. I, uh, I coached uh, 17 years in college and six in pro football and 14 years as a high school coach. So I've seen it at all levels. Um, the thing I worry about with younger kids is the self-reporting. The thing I worry about it with older kids, when I coached in the NFL, and when I coached in college, it was get the kid back on the field. And you had to all, you know, have a doctor there to say, no, this kid shouldn't go back on the field. And so now we've gotten coaches out of that, but at the lower levels in particular, we don't have enough of that. We don't have enough of something that helps the kids say, you know, I'm not making the decision. Somebody else makes the decision now. Okay. So, Mr. Burrow, you think Brain Century will this will go national? Brain Century is already going national. Forgive me. Brain Century is the official sensor for the Arena Football League, which is the first professional league in any kind of sport that has adopted technology to help them with the concussion assessment. So, this is the, we're seeing the beginning of what's going to become 
uh, uh, the standard, uh, the standard, the way the helmets are. Well, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, will it go beyond football to other sports? Yeah, so we're in football, we're in hockey, and we're in lacrosse right now. But I also see us getting into some non-helmeted sports, including soccer. So we're developing a, a, a type of sensor that can go on a headband, for example, for soccer. Welcome to the feature. How can people get in touch with you, Mr. Morrow? Go to www.braincentury.com. Good deal. How about you, Coach? How can people stay abreast of you? That's a good question. I'm retired. <laughs> Well, we're glad. This Baltimore County, this county, city, please, the, the football game, important game, special game for the young people. Yeah, I think it, it's important for everyone. When we first started this organization 18 years ago, very few kids in the Baltimore area were getting recruited for football. And I'm not talking about Division One. I'm talking about all divisions. Uh, both of my sons played Division Three college football and had a great college experience. We want kids to have the opportunity from this game and from the banquet and the other things that we do to get more exposure to college so that they have more choices to make and that hopefully they make intelligent choices. Is it tough? Is it easier now for parents? I mean, I would imagine, you know, it gets better with time, but for a parent to stay abreast of the many decisions, choices, where, where to send their child to school. Well, I, I think it's like a lot of things. A lot of parents are very involved in all of those decisions in their kids' lives, and, and some parents aren't. Oftentimes in high school football, the football coach winds up being the guy that gets the kid to make some of those choices. And whether the parent helps or doesn't, we want to make sure that all of these kids have choices. All about empowerment. Good deal. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. And keep watching BeMoreNews.com.